It is so great to be here with you guys today. Why? Well, for one, because I love you. And for the second thing, today we're gonna to be making an incredible tapas dish. First of all, raise your hand if you like cheese. Keep it up there if you like melted cheese. Now reach it all the way to the top if you can imagine that melted cheese on top of a smoky tomato sauce. Guys, that is what we are doing today. A manchego cheese and tomato skillet with smoked paprika. This is seriously one of the most amazing tapas dishes ever. It's very easy to make. Use the simple ingredients and as for the flavor, let me tell you, it is out of this world good. This is seriously so delicious. Now to make this recipe, I'm using Spain's famous cheese, queso manchego. Uh, now they make this from a mild version all the way to like an extra aged. I'm using the mild one just because it melts a lot easier. And uh, also you can use whatever kind of cheese you want here. But I do recommend that you use queso manchego it is available all over the world and it gives this dish a beautiful magical flavor. For this recipe, you're also gonna need some Spanish paprika. As always, I'm using Cuba Sweet Smoked Spanish Paprika. This is an essential ingredient in this recipe as this is what gives this dish that beautiful Spanish smoky flavor. Link below where you guys can get this. All right guys, I can't stop myself from talking because I'm so excited to make this. So let's just dive right in. We're gonna begin by grabbing half of an onion. I always like to have a paper towel underneath for an easy cleanup. Remove between one to two of the outer layers and finely dice the onion. Next up, I'm gonna grab about three cloves of garlic, remove the skins, and finely mince the garlics. Let's grab a handful of fresh parsley and finely chop it. Now let's get to the star of the dish, the queso manchego. I'm gonna cut off the rinds. And then thinly slice the cheese. We're gonna need between seven to eight slices for this recipe. All right, let's start cooking our dish. Grab a nonstick fry pan, heat it with a medium heat, and add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. After heating the oil for two minutes, I'm gonna add the diced onions and the minced garlic. And mix them around with the oil. You wanna mix this occasionally, that way that garlic doesn't burn. About four minutes after adding our onions and our garlic into the pan, and you can see that those onions have a beautiful translucent color to them, I'm gonna add one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika. And mix this all together until it's well combined. And again, you wanna mix this pretty quickly, that way that paprika does not get a bitter flavor to it. Then I'm gonna grab one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes, add it into the pan, add about one tablespoon of the freshly chopped parsley, season everything with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And mix this all together until it's well combined. And we're gonna leave our tomato sauce to simmer between four to five minutes, that way it can thicken up. It's been about five minutes since we added our diced tomatoes into the pan. Now let's go ahead and add the slices of queso manchego. You can add these in any design. I like to add them in a circular design. Add a little freshly cracked black pepper on top of the cheese. This is gonna make the cheese explode with flavors. And place the lid on top of the pan. Three minutes after adding the lid, this cheese should be perfectly cooked. Let's go ahead and remove the lid. And this looks perfectly cooked. Let's garnish it with a little fresh parsley. And to serve this dish, I'm gonna grab one baguette and cut it into slices that are about half an inch thick. Now I'm gonna grab some of this beautiful tapas appetizer, add it on top of the bread and give this a try. Okay guys, our tapas dish is done, seriously. This looks so good, here we go. Wow, that is so good. I'm telling you, that smoked paprika really shines through. And it goes with all the other ingredients, the tomatoes, the garlics, the onions. Mm. And then that queso manchego, perfectly melted, adds a beautiful creaminess to this dish. You guys saw this, very easy to make, done in under 30 minutes. Seriously, one of the best tapas dishes you will ever taste. 
And uh, this uh, recipe is between, you know, feeds three to four people, but I am pretty sure that I'm gonna eat this all by myself. If you guys enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.